Swept my last breath. I'm staying here to my last breath, my last breath, my last breath, my last breath. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go, round one. And you are looking live at a man who just might be the best middleweight on planet Earth at present. Perhaps that sounds hyperbolic. But go check out the body of work of Brendan Allen. Interesting to see how he approaches this particular matchup. Nobody wants to be on the ground with this man. His clinch is outstanding. One of the best back takers in this or any division. A lot of fight fans believe Brendan Allen's submission game will be heard from here tonight. So a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice job by Allen. And now is where things could get really interesting. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a ton behind it. Nice punch to the head. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Al. Big shots being landed on both sides here. And he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chip. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Oh, right into mouth. While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by B.A. Brendan Allen. Watch on ball here. Ready. Ready. Good. Ferguson has been such a submission threat and successful striker in the UFC that people sleep on the fact that he does come in with wrestling credentials. Two-time collegiate All-American at Grand Valley State University. Beautiful timing and placement to land the flying knee. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that knee Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. All right, nice entry, and the first takedown attempt succeed. For Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. There it is. Now he's on the ball. Nice transition. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. 
Order, and you can be sure he will be in hot pursuit of another stoppage win here tonight. Well, he caught the kick there and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him there. It worked out great. Caught the leg, rolled right into his opponent, and put him on his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Trying for a submission here. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. He's in real trouble. Down, it looks tight. It looks like he's going to get this. Oh. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, got a pull guard here. Flying triangle attempt. I mean, he pulled it right down. Ooh, crowd pops as he gets out again. They respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well versed he is in submission defense. All right, he remains in pursuit. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oliveira's trying to lock up on a submission now. Armin very tight. a beautiful transition to try to get the finish. Oh, he got out. He actually defended. Now, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. Oh, looked like an elbow there from the top by Oliveira. Now he's going full mount. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, what is a factor? No mistake about it.
fight. Ready. So here is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going, if he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp. Oh, and kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. Ooh, big shot land. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot. Quick entry here. Nice. Oh! Takes oh. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel? Yeah. 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 I knew that was coming. Yeah. 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 All right, so now blood is... Oh. is he rocked him bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job and now his opponent's back in the fight i mean you don't get those opportunities very often you got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you and his lower jaw does not look good i don't think it's broken but starting to show some obvious signs of swell nice body kick there Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. He's going after the head. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Jones gets back up again. Beautiful time for this man. Nice takedown lands. Look at that. Recognize who's about to lose position. Oh, Jones gets up. He is back on the feet here. Less than now, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Hook is there again. Oh! And how much more can he take? Back to his feet. For him, two knockdowns there. I'm not sure if the opposite corner is right. going to throw in the towel, if the doctor's going to come in, but he is hurting for certain. I mean, they've got to look at it, right? They've got to look at their fighter. It's sometimes. You ready to fight? You ready? Check him out on the way.
up on the street. 2017 was my moment of truth. I was a year away from not being known as a youth. Approaching manhood, beach fuzz covered my chin. Even then, I would leave rap the win. I'm not a Muslim, so why would I lie pretend? I'm not too good at following trends. I am the trend. I am the truth. I am the Lord. I am the sin. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, so here he is, the former UFC featherweight champion, Max Holloway, back on the proving round, ready to get this round underway. And when you fight a guy like Max Holloway, better keep a tight guard. No rest for the weary. There are not any moments of respite when you fight Max Holloway over 15 or 25 minutes. That flying knee to the head landed. in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Topuria's in half guard now. He's getting them out here. He's gotta be careful here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. with the ground and pound strike. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Beautiful transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guards. And you can't have... Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. Like, oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, and submission defense wins this transition. Both guys appeared to land there. You see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Big right hand. Big knee to the body. Big left hand there inside. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Fields. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to be the with everything that he's going to get. He should have got the fight finished at that point. is in half guard. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Holloway's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but uh, unable to do so. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. He doesn't want to be in this fight anymore, okay? You just got to... All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed the seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Of you ready to fight? Ready. Do All right, here we go with round two. Man, Holloway at his relentless best. No breathing room for the opponent as he continues to press forward here. Checks the light kick. Oh, a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Effective jab there by Topuria. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected it.
body there. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, here we go. Round one. And a lot of eyeballs on Brendan Allen here tonight, representing Kill Cliff FC in South Florida and the great state of Louisiana. Five of his last six wins have come by rear naked choke, and that is something that his opposition is certainly mindful of here tonight. But there's nowhere to rest, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide against Brendan Allen. He's a layered striker as well, working with Henry Hook there in South Florida. A lot of people believe eventually. There's another power takedown there. Making all these shots count. BA's pass attempt denied. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Mm, that was nice. Good work from the top here by BA, Brendan Allen. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Straight right hand, no good. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, huge elbow! Back mount now. Going for that pat 
landed rear naked choke now. That is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Allen's in half goal. Oh, right into Mount. Nice positional control here. Oh, that's right. And now he's got the back. Oh, flattens him out now. This could be the beginning of the end. He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. What are you throwing? Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he... Ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, the energy is absolutely palpable. This building really becoming a great venue for the UFC, Eddie Hot Arena here in Abu Dhabi. I mean, I just love great timing on that double leg. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Oh, 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 man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Nice job by him defensively there. He landed a good uppercut there. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Strong hook lands. Big right hand. Oh! The jab. I mean, technically, this would be a flying triangle if we could finish it here. A flying triangle. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, he's just there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Now. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telling. He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, looks like he's going for an armbar here. How tight is that? Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, what's he doing now? He goes belly down. He goes belly down to try to get the finish. Oh, he's out. Notice how his opponent's so right. Back to the side that his opponent was on. Got his hip all the way across to release the pressure of of his own.
the church is working. Tell the deacon we ain't speaking, need money, his prayer is worthless. I can tell through my alertness, he's nervous about his purpose. Hey, in the name of Jesus, the reaper, I serve the serve. I got high, he's fly over Earth's surface. Fly satellite hiders, I'm looking at Earth's circus. Keep your eyes on the prize and don't let the devil coerce you. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Well, we are sold out tonight, and a big reason why UFC President Dana White is donning the four-ounce gloves. On the other side, they have a lot of confidence coming in here tonight that they can beat Dana White in a boxing match. I would say be careful what you wish for. Dana White has some of the heaviest hands in this division and has shown a fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, be opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Tonight, could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blesthoff? And there's a takedown attempt. Not allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. 
Topoli is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Another big kick Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well, block that punch. Holloway's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, I felt the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, a big left hand. It's a right hand. There's that left hand. Oh, huge kick to the leg. He's giving him so many different things right now. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nice double leg, yes. There it is. Now he's running out. Topuri is looking for an arm bar here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, that's tight as he transitions with the belly down arm ball. Oh, he got out. And notice how he got his body all the way across the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly, but it's much better than where he was before. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big move. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's round go. two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Oh, Massive shot. Ready to land. Great job. Oh! Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Takedown defense is there. In the half guard. Oh, great reversal to top position by Ilya Topuri. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jiu-jitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a different... Oh, no. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh! Quick entry to get Man, it on a single. A crazy. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Fighters back to their feet here. So we hit the three minute mark here in the second round. I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having a hey, hey, if he eats his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the off ball. Looks like he might get the finish here. It's gotta be it. And there it is! Holy smokes! As many style points as you can produce! Whoa! See the crowd all more. Entertainer, yes, no. Entertainer, cost no.
Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Take line, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This place is total chaos when it comes to mixed martial arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight. Crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is going crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. It's a big moment for every Brazilian fighter that hits the curve. They are propelled by these fans. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh! Big uppercut. And now he lands a combination. So more output, at least in the early going. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensive. Oh! Oh, he's that guillotine. Oh! That guillotine is tight! Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Jose Aldo will see if he can take advantage here of what is a major edge in reach tonight. defense by this young man. Attempting an arm bar here. Looks like he's got the sub locked in tight now. Oh, what's he doing? Now he goes belly down. He turns down to try to get all of his weight on that arm. He's gonna have to tap. He's in a compromising spot here, DC. Got to figure out a way to get back to the feet. Side control now.
true color showing But I question every move I make before I keep going Looking in the mirror, see my future and I'm that bitch Conversations with my mom like, mama, we gon' be rich but first I gotta make it through the wilderness I already got a hit list And once I start shooting, bet I don't miss My pimp girl, Punaville with some big dreams It's just the beginning, but I like to introduce me Cause I've been all by my lonely You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go. Round one. And how will Fedor Emelianenko choose to proceed? I know, DC, you think he's going to wrestle. He's going to grapple. Figures to have a decided submission advantage tonight if he can get that part of his game going. But Fedor's got power, man. He talked about wanting a knockout this week. And sometimes when fighters talk about pursuing style points, big W leg number two. All right, so Emelianenko's in half goal. Now he's going full mount. This is a terrible position. Setting up a submission. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish on ball. Oh, what a transition. Beautiful transition to the belly down on ball. Oh, he got out. He actually defended. Now, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off. Joke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. That guillotine is tight. Oh, no! And that is good! Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. Ready. Ready. Do it. Well, with about as much fanfare as you would expect, the biggest star this sport has ever seen, Conor McGregor, is back tonight. And now let's see how he performs. Certainly he has handled everything during fight week quite well. How does he handle fight night? We're going to get some answers here shortly, Joe. Nice combination there by Conor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Conor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. All right, 
So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, how's that for executing the game plan? He told us he needed to get the early takedown, and he produces right out of the shoot. He got it done, man. Takedowns where he emphasis in camp, and he got it done. He has to be happy that it worked to perfection. Vicious uppercut. Wow. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. And not that long. Take your time. I'm staying here to my last breath, my last breath, my last breath, my last breath. You won't see me until my last breath, 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 my last breath. I'll leave it all, I'll leave it all. My last breath, 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 my last breath. I'll leave it all, I'll leave it all. Put it a hundred percent. Yeah, wake up and get to this paper. George Saint here back on the proven ground tonight. If you've got a Mount Rushmore, he is likely on it. And for all these elite welterweights, this is the challenge that they want to see if their game is good enough to beat a prime GSP. Well, all you're trying to do is etch your name in the, in the history books. And if you want to be remembered forever, a winner that George Saint Pierre accomplishes that. That's not an easy thing. George Saint Pierre is ready. George Saint Pierre is excited to continue his run at the top. But in Leon, was he has a guy. St. Pierre's going for a choke. He's got the sub locked in. He may finish this fight by submission. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, hang on a second, he escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space, roll to your back, give up the mount, but live to fight another day. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Nicely done. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. St. Pierre's in half guard now. Now he's got a good body position, yup. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Edwards trying to make some of these ground strikes count. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. 
Oh, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Edwards. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job oh, staying oh. on submission. Round two is next. I want you to put him on the defensive. That means we win. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lance. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round here. Elbow blocked by George Safety. All right, so here we are, new round, and still not much in terms of volume from this kickboxer. You look at the highlight reel, and all these bodies are twitching on the canvas. He won't even throw a kick tonight. He won't throw a kick, John. He told us. He goes, I am a high-level kickboxer. Kick is the first word. You've got to use your kicks. You're so good at it. Why are you so one-dimensional today? I don't understand why he is not using all of his weapons. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Getting them all here. Well, he's got to be careful there, yep. All right, so the oh. In the half guard. St. Pierre's back in full now. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, nice. Great job landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Well, St. Pierre's trying for a submission here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, no, oh, no! Oh! 